Hello guys, good day. This is Anna for Reinforce Me Club. Today we are going to talk about the effects of comparing yourself to others. So, you know, when we try to compare ourselves, of course we are going to compare ourselves to someone better than us, smarter than us, stronger than us. Well, that could be a good motivation uh, for us to compare ourselves in the sense that, you know, seeing someone inspiring us to become the kind of person we want to be. We're looking up to someone like a, a role model. And uh, yeah, they inspire us, they motivate us in, in different ways. And looking at their accomplishments, you know, those people that we compare ourselves to have already gone through the hard times, the best of the hard times in that area. So you know, especially when we are we're just getting started, and we compare ourselves to those people who have who've been already in in that uh, journey, in that business for over ten years, they they they've already made themselves the best of the best in that area. It could be sports, business, or relationships. So, we like for example, you have a, a favorite couple. Who've gone through a lot of tough times in their lives, and they, their relationship have have grown. They're much sweeter than their first five to ten years, and they they've already they're already well adjusted couple. And then we compare ourselves to to them, and uh, basing our on our relationships with, with with someone we just dated for six months. So that's that's a long way. Or we may compare ourselves with, with someone who is really uh, good in business, like someone who's already in that real estate business for over 10 years. And we just bought a house six months ago. So it's a long way for us to get to that level. Yes, yeah, they, they motivate us. And uh, they give us, you know, those role models that we have actually gave us a benchmark, some sorts of standards. But to let you know, especially those uh, you know, speaking about criteria, people, since people are different, we do have different criteria, different benchmarks. We could mix up our own standards with others to see if, you know, whichever works. But in the most part, we can come up with our own standards, our own benchmarks to to the you know to these thing that we're we want to be great and, and like benchmark on something that we want to gain some sort of mastery it could be finances art relationships you know relationship goals so it takes a long time for that to work out and the thing about uh, comparing ourselves to the point of copying those people have already been in that business for for so long for more than a decade it's a uh, it's kind of daunting though to the point that it's going to you know make us feel inadequate to ourselves if we try to copy them and that usually happens to social media nowadays like especially in instagram you can see those uh beautiful bodies ideal glutes you know uh, muscles, or it could be, you know, that some people are showing up that they're rich, they travel all over the world, but we don't really know how true is that. And uh, knowingly, we're just, uh, we're just swiping and then we appreciate how great they have, but we don't really, we have no idea what's really going on in their lives for real. And comparing ourselves to these people, having these loads of money, it makes us really inadequate feeling inadequate, especially if we're working on that, you know, on the same area and then we're still struggling, we're struggling and then uh, we're falling short and uh, that actually erodes our confidence because we compared ourselves to that best of the best role model. In some point, Comparing ourselves to others, it can be like unhealthy. That's unhealthy competition because, you know, we shift our focus from personal growth to 
outperforming that person at all costs, leading to burnout, stress, or strained relationship. So it boils down to the word envy. So we want that thing that he has. We want that medals, that millions of dollars, that, that family that he has. I want it. So I, I feel pressured every time. So that is envy. Since you don't have it yet, and you're working, you're working hard to have it. So you feel envy. And uh, another thing is that when you compare yourself to others, you will lose your authenticity. Well, as much as I love the word authentic, I don't want to lose it. But when you compare yourself to others, you may lose sight of your own values, your own passion, your talent, and your unique, your unique strengths. You, you may find yourself chasing after someone else's definition of success, um, relationship goals, their, you know, their, uh, uh, your role models or other people's own definition of you know, hard work, fin you know, financial success, which is out of, which should be sometimes out of your own uh, values, out of your, you know, you, you're adapting someone else's life. And that is difficult. You're going to lose yourself. And losing yourself means, you know, means that um, you're out of control. You're not putting value of your very own power, which is within you. You're not making use of your own resources. Please don't. And in the most part, when you compare yourself to others, you may miss the opportunity for collaboration. Well, when you, you know, the, the good thing about envy is that if it's really purely just envy, the good thing about it is that when you communicate to that role model that you envy him or her, the good thing about it is that if you're open to cooperation or collaboration with that with that mentor with your role model it may help you a lot that's why you have to be honest with yourself and that is part of authenticity self-awareness be true to yourself in order to have a have a have a look about that role model of yours you know their 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 perspectives their standards you know, that will give you an opportunity to really assess if they're worth looking up to. You know, that gives you an opportunity. What are the parts of the area or the areas of your model that you want to adapt? However, when you adapt something over time, when you really value yourself, you can come up with a, with an idea which could be better than your role model better in a way that it's favorable for you and that makes you authentic however if you're not honest enough to yourself you're really competing to your role model who's been in the business for over 10 years and counting you may miss the opportunity of collaboration and learning about his strategies his character you know which attributes of your role model that is worth adapting to your own style. You know, it's a, in summary, yes, for occasional comparison, yes, it's, it's worth it. It can, because it can provide you with valuable insights and motivation. It's also important to cultivate self-awareness and maintain healthy perspectives. And in the most part, Focus on your own journey. Celebrate your own success. Learn from your own experience. Use that comparison, that benchmark of your role model as a tool for your own growth rather than a source of uh, validation or self-doubt. Otherwise, if you use envy, if you use comparison, for your own advantage, you can make use of that. 
Otherwise, according to Hitler, you know, if you compare yourself to others, you are insulting yourself. And, you know, when the worst comes to worst, if you keep comparing yourself to others, if you keep copying other people, you may gonna lose yourself, which is too bad. We only have one chance, one life, one opportunity. Never lose it. Always keep learning. And it all starts from yourself. Self-love. Anyway, this is Anne of Reinforcement Club. If you ever liked this message today, you can follow me in YouTube, Facebook, Apple Podcasts, and Spotify, Reinforcement Club. You can click subscribe and including the notification button. Share this to your family and friends. Have a good day ahead. Thank you very much. Bye.